I was so excited to become my sister's maid of honor for her wedding until she said to me and her bridesmaids that she wanted all of us to wear our natural hair for the wedding and I immediately thought she lost her mind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Even though we got so many compliments that day on our hair, I still really struggled with it. It's two days before the wedding and I really don't feel like doing my hair right now. I haven't touched my hair in over three weeks and I can't even fathom what is under my bonnet right now. If I'm being honest with myself, the real reason why I didn't want to wear my natural hair for the wedding was because I just felt like it was a lot of work and it definitely forced me to confront the fact that I had not been taking care of my hair for months. I didn't actually realize to the extent of how much I had neglected my hair until I took my bonnet off and examined it. There were balls, knots, and pieces were falling out just by me touching it. <sighs> always prided myself in being a girl with kinky natural hair that was long and healthy. I mean, I went natural in 2013 and big chopped when being natural was not cool. I got made fun of a lot for being natural at that time, but eventually with the right products and styles, I learned to really love my natural hair. So seeing my hair at this point is really disappointing. Almost immediately, I knew I was going to have to big chop again, but not because I wanted to this time. And I've big chopped at least two or three times before in my natural hair journey. This one, yeah, this one was desperately needed. I will say the ends of my hair do feel much healthier now that I cut it off. I'm pretty sure holding on to that hair has some type of negative psychological effect on me mentally and emotionally. Initially, when my sister had the idea for all of us to wear our natural hair, I greatly objected. I offered solutions like, what about wig caps? What about sew-ins? What about wigs that looked like natural hair? 
She was not having it though. It was like there was nothing I could do to sway her mind. Twist outs, braid outs, flexi rods, all of it for her was and is formal enough. So here we are. Today is the big day and I am praying that these twists are dry. I started recently feeling that when black women wear their natural hair in formal or professional environments, it's understood as such a resistance against texturism and our society's beauty standards. I feel like I need a lot of like hydrating thick butters like stuff like that for my twist outs. I was made to believe for a long time that I wasn't supposed to embrace what would naturally grow out of my scalp. Even straightening my hair for interviews in fear that I would be seen as less professional or going on dates with protective styles or wigs in fear that he might not be into natural hair or specifically my 4C hair. I ordered. Oh, yes. Who <laughs> said apple pie order? Oh, you know, in the English is immediately. My dad says immediately. <laughs> <laughs> immediately. <laughs> I'll be like, all right, man. And I'm quick to get on my dad, too, because, like, let me let me say a, a, a Creole word wrong. Oh, yeah. He'll come uh. and get on you. Pin yours? I think so, because the shape is weird. Is that brush? <laughs> Brush. With all of us about to wear our natural hair for the most formal event you could think of, such as a wedding, it feels like the biggest form of resistance against what people would expect us to show up like. It wasn't up until 2015 and 2016 that I actually saw women wearing their natural hair in formal settings like the workplace or on the news, weather channel. But still, I rarely have seen black women embrace their natural hair in weddings. Just right outside. Right outside the door, yeah. Okay. You can't talk if you're like away from that, yeah. Hi, Uncle. Oh. Oh, I lost connection, Mom. Oh. It'll, it'll be yes. um, him getting it there, but when the daughter is born, that's his favorite. Oh, my daughter is yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definition, Sasha. Definition. Yeah. Even my people were surprised to see that we were wearing our natural hair during the wedding. Thank you, my big old eyes. Like, what that mean? Your daddy did a nice speech yesterday, We were complimented and commended. Some of it felt genuine, and some of it felt like, oh, that's cute. Couldn't be me at my wedding, though. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm right there with them. I realized that for a lot of black women, our natural hair is truly a journey. Look back. Six weeks. <laughs> That's what's in the contract, right? <laughs> Some parts of our journey might look like wearing a bust down 30 inch with a middle part. And other times I love my natural hair and I'm experimenting with different kind of styles that look good on me. Sorry. Take one step back. You, their um, Becky's assistant was looking for you. But it really is a journey, and it looks different in each season. <laughs> Some of us have not arrived to a place where we feel strong enough, beautiful enough, or embraced enough to wear our natural hair on our wedding day.
I, however, am thankful that I have a sister like the one I do. Although I've been natural for many years before her, she has embraced her natural hair in a way that I haven't yet arrived at. For her, natural will always be formal enough. Here this morning, on this day, to introduce to you 